And the Draybots spring into action. They get those two field power cells. Meanwhile, the Hawaiian kids launching. They hit the inner port, but the Draybots launch all five of theirs along with the Lions partner. It looks like the circuit breakers try to launch of their own. Project 212 hasn't really moved since they moved it during the autonomous period, but the Draybots moving around. Here come the circuit breakers. They're over by the Red Alliance player station. Getting fuel power cells from the human player. There's Project 212. Ramona Rampage looking to try and defend against the Graybots. And here's Project, sorry, here's the Circuit Breakers. Launching one, two, three, along with four, along with the Graybots getting, looks like they might have activated Round two, nope, they're still in the first stage of powering up the shield. There's one more, they only need two more to power up the shield, but the, for the second stage, Blue Alliance needs two to power up the first stage. Can the Hawaiian kids do it? They're over in the Blue Alliance sector. They've got three in their possession, here's a fourth. And there's one. There's two. Oh, they bounce the third and the fourth. Falcon Robotics, 589. Oh, it looks like a piece of the field has come off and the circuit breakers might be entwined with it. That sound means it's time to climb, but with the score, oh! Hawaiian kids, they tip over, but fortunately Ramona Robotics, Ramona Rampage was there to let them off. We're hearing some grinding from the Hawaiian kids. The Graybots make it up with 11 seconds left. Project 212 shoots a power cell into the pylon. Falcon Robotics is hanging. Ramona Rampage is hanging. With a preliminary score of 130 to 59, the Red Alliance has the advantage, but we're gonna have to wait for the score to see if anything else changes.